take a look at transcription software and it's a really good way to save some time when you're doing a lot of transcription. And I'm going to show you exactly why that is. So we're going to open up the tra uh, transcription software and for me I use HyperTranscribe. There's lots of other transcription software packages out there though so look around for the one that you like. When HyperTranscribe opens up it's going to ask you to create a new document or you can go to the last saved document or you can open something uh, that uh, you created earlier. I'm going to create a new document just to kind of show you how this works. We're going to choose a media file and it's all going to end up in this uh, particular window. So when I click that it's going to come up with a choice of where to get it from. I've picked one out and you'll see that it's loaded it in just like any other media player on your computer and over here is a place where you can actually do the typing of the transcription. You'll also note there's a button here on the front for loop playback. This is one of the ways that it saves you time to use transcription software because the software can actually take the audio recording and do a loop of the audio over and over and over until you've been able to transcribe it all. Uh, that way you don't have to do that standard old you know push start, push stop, do some typing, push start, push stop, do some typing, push start, push stop, do some typing, that kind of thing. Uh, the transcription software allows you to keep your hands on the keyboard at all times which is one of the best parts about what it does and I'll show you it has some shortcuts that you can do so basically if you just want to start or stop the tape you can click shift space when you're ready to advance to the next loop once you've got that one loop that's going uh, all transcribed you can go ahead and hit tab without ever having to leave the keyboard and it'll go on to the next one if you need to go back you hit shift tab all of those kinds of things uh, so there's lots of ways that you can just, using the keyboard, uh, make the software actually control the, uh, the tape and actually uh, do the transcription all at the same time without ever having to leave the keyboard. So let me show you exactly what that looks like. I work um, in the Industry Relations Center, Vice President of Industry Relations. I work um, in the Industry Relations Center, Vice President of Industry Relations. I work um, in the Industry Relations Center, Vice President of Industry Relations. I work um, President of Industry Relations. So I work with our industry members on membership. Um, there. So I work with our industry members on membership. Um, there. So I work with our industry members on membership. Um, there. So I work with our industry members. Um, their sponsorships, partnerships, exhibiting. Anything. Sponsorships, partnerships, exhibiting. Anything. Sponsorships, partnerships, exhibiting, exhibiting. Anything they do with the association. Anything they do with the association. Anything they do with boot camp, industry education. Another really cool thing that the transcription software can do is it can help you put in time codes uh, that match with the tape. And so if you just put in uh, insert and then put in time code, you can see that it's going to match exactly with where it was in the transcript. So when you export this or print it out, it'll give you a sense of exactly where you are in that recording. So if you want to go back and listen to the tape again later on, uh, you'll be able to just click on that link and it'll take you right back to where that is. Uh, another cool thing about HyperTranscribe uh, is that you can put in shortcut text. Uh, now this is particularly helpful if you are uh, doing like a focus group uh, or to put in the names of participants. 
uh, so that you can just, instead of having to type the name out every single time you change turns, uh, you can just do one of those shortcut text. Um, and uh, to edit those shortcuts, you can just do that. Now, uh, I use uh, the command key and one, and then I'll usually do MWH, and that's me uh, when I'm doing interviews. Uh, for command two, you could put, uh, you know, if you're interviewing someone named Susan, you could uh, put Susan's name in there. You can also do any kind of other text that you wanted to as well if you wanted to stick in anything. I mean, you can go for lots and lots of text in there for, for whatever it is. Uh, there's some other preferences that you can set as well in Hypertranscribe. Uh, seconds to play when advancing, so if, if, it's, if there's too much uh, of the audio recording playing, uh, in each one of those loops and you want to shorten it some you could adjust that here uh, seconds to rewind when advancing loops so there, there'll be sort of an overlap between the loop that you just listened to and the one that you advance it to next uh, seconds to pause all those sorts of things uh, but let me show you the shortcuts uh, so as we're typing along again the one of the key things is it's nice you can just sort of uh, do this without ever having to take your hands off the keyboard. So we can do Command-1, and then I'll have my question here uh, to return Command-2, and then uh, Susan will have her answer there. Command-1, and, and so you can see that that shortcut text is kind of a, a nice little feature to, to help out. Okay, now once you've got an entire transcript the question becomes, what do you do with it? Well, Hypertranscribe and other transcription software has ways that you can e export the particular files. And for Hypertranscribe, it has a number of different formats that you can use. Now, I'm going to export this to Hyper Research, which can only use plain text files. So I'll choose plain text. Ask me if I want to include those time codes from before. I'm going to say include. We'll give it a name and a place to save. And then in Hyper Research, which is my qualitative research data analysis software, I'm going to tell it to open a new text file and look for the one that I just saved. There it is. And then as you can see, when we open it up, there's all the transcription that we've just done. And we can start with our qualitative research software and doing our coding and all those sorts of things. So it's in using a transcription software package, it's lots of really useful things that you can do with it. It can help things go much faster and it can plug right into the qualitative data analysis software that you'll use later. So I hope you'll give it a try and uh, I hope it's of great use to you.